Welcome to the November energy update. Uh, I can't believe it's already November. <laughs> this year has flown even with all this coronavirus stuff going on. It just feels like the year has flown by. So let's see what's going to happen for closing out this year. Um, you know, we've got November and December to go. Um, it really does feel to me like, although things might look like they're going to get a little bit darker before the, the light really comes in, it is coming. 2020 is going to be a year of all new, all new ways of being, new opportunities, and really, you know, tapping into your truth and following that soul guidance as to what, you know, what's best for you. We'll, we'll leave it at that. So anyway, I'm going to start picking cards. So stick around for that. Hi, I'm Linda Armstrong. If you don't already know me, I'm an energy healer and an awakening coach. And we're picking that first card. Universal Mind. Ah, that sounds like it could be highly appropriate with all that's going on. It says you're about to receive the solution to your concern. Yeah, I really do see, think that things are going to start falling together a little bit, like piecing together where you start to understand what all of this has been about for you individually. Now we know on a collective, it's all about really bringing so much more light to the planet that is churning up all these darker energies and all of these outdated systems or, or ways of being that just don't serve us anymore. And so they're dying or dying down, coming up to the surface to be seen and released. So let's see, I wanna read this one because I, I, I wanna see exactly what this card is meant to say. Okay, universal mind, I'm just about there. Yep, gonna need glasses for this one for sure. All right, so it says, this card comes to you today to assure you that you're getting ready to find the solution to your problem or concern. We're all connected to the infinite intelligence of all that is. It's time for you to tap into the subconscious mind. Your subconscious mind is your connection to the universal mind. It could even be considered one in the same. Whoa, interesting. Begin to focus on receiving the solutions to your problem versus focusing on the problem itself. The solution that you seek will be revealed to you when you begin to awaken to the power of your subconscious mind. Use your dream time to help you to access the infinite intelligence within you. Uh, hold a picture of the perfect solution being revealed to you in divine timing in your mind's eye. You don't even have to know what that is, right? You're just asking for your higher guidance to drop that in. So it says, continue holding this picture until it's the last thought you have before falling asleep. Our consciousness is connected to the one universal mind that contains every possibility to any solution. Believe it, allow it, and you will begin to receive the solutions you seek. Um, that's why I like to just ask questions of the universe, because when I get into my mind and it triggers up those old patterns and programs of the subconscious mind, um, it kind of keeps me stuck and, and doesn't allow me to go into that expansion of unlimited possibilities. So I didn't, I've never really heard it this way, the subconscious mind and, the, and your higher self being like one in the same. Uh, I'm not sure I feel it that way, but I guess they could be saying it's subconscious because a lot of people aren't even aware of that connection that they have to their higher knowing. And so when they don't know the, when they don't have an understanding of that, and then inspiration comes in. We'll put it this way. If you don't have an understanding of that, it's hard to see inspiration as it comes in and know that there's this part of you. But when you're unaware, you just think it's a subconscious mind. It's like something happening in the background rather than your direct connection that you have to the higher self. Um, so anyway, that, that kind of throws me a little bit because you know, the subconscious mind does help you, obviously, in a lot of ways. But don't you don't want to get stuck into that 
thinking that that's your solution because a lot of times the stuff that's contained within there is what's holding you back. So I just want to make that distinction between the higher knowing, which of course you subconsciously can tap into, but the more you awaken, the more you tap into that consciously. And that's what we're all working towards. So I like that card. I like the way that that came up. Let, let's choose one of these. I have like five decks here. I don't know if I'll do them all, but let's just see what comes up with this one. This is the uh, Enchanted Map. So what else can it say about this higher knowing uh, coming in, tapping into the universal mind where all possibilities exist and just really being open to receiving that? So why don't we do a clearing for that? So any of the programs and patterns running in your system that prevent you and forbid you from really knowing truly your connection to your higher mind, your higher self, and all the possibilities that exist out there, let's just uncreate and destroy it all, right? Just lift it all, releasing it, sending it to the light. You could feel this, this surge of energy coming through and just downloading each and every one of us with this love and this light this inspiration like filling up all those places where those other programs reside right that we just lift it out so you can call it like a maybe a heavier denser energy we're just pulling it sending it to the light and just downloading with this beautiful light and love that really truly does open you up to all the possibilities and so let's for you for those of you who don't have this way of being within them let's download you with what it would feel like to walk through your day by day, step by step, knowing how, how, how you cannot be disconnected from your higher self and your higher mind and the universe because you are a part of it. It is you. So anything that prevents you from knowing that you always have this connection and this inspiration can be there for you just like that, just by asking for it. Um, let, let's just download that for you, this feeling of knowing your connection and allowing it to lead you allowing yourself to feel it and to know beyond knowing the inspiration that will truly take you further on your path. So let's see, this next card is uh, One Ring Circus. <laughs> Number 15, One Ring Circus. Okay, so, all right, we're gonna have to read that one too. Okay, 15, it's in the upright position and it's all about here we go. It's all about you are capable and competent. All right. So independence is key now as you step into your journey today. Others may not have the vision or resources that you need. Recognize that all the wisdom you've acquired along the way makes you particularly competent, capable, and uh, capable of moving forward with assurance. Self-reliance is important. Another aspect to consider is creating and maintaining clear boundaries between you and another. Be discerning about your partnerships at this time. When you know who you are and you have a healthy sense of where you end and where others begin, you're able to enter into the best kind of relationships and will attract the people who mirror back your wholeness. Interdependent relationships are always mutually supportive, stimulating, and transformative. You can achieve anything at this time. So it's really, again, just like that first card, tapping into this connection that you have, this higher knowing, this inspiration that can come where you can really sense um, what is a good fit for you, you know, what, who, who to partner up with, um, even how to discern whatever their input might be for you not to just take it but to discern for yourself how it resonates and if it feels if it feels true to you you know a truth will always make you feel lighter right so if someone's telling you something and you know, just something doesn't feel right then it's not your truth it's probably not going to serve you and you can even ask yourself Okay, is this that I just don't understand this? Or is this that this is not right for me? And see what you feel. And so maybe you might feel like, no, I might be okay. I just don't really get it. I need to get more information to understand what this is. And then feel and sense if it is really true for you and, and uh, right for you on your, on your path. So that, that's interesting. Okay. So again, it seems like the underlying 
um, energy there is your connection to your inner knowing and all the possibilities that are available to you when you kind of move out of the way, allow that inspiration to come in and discern what feels right and follow that guidance. Because if it feels right, it's your higher knowing letting you know, yes, 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 this is good. The vibration raises with it. You feel lighter and freer. Um, all right, I'm going to go with this deck. This is the Wisdom of Avalon. Okay, Wisdom of Avalon. And so let's see what we get here. I like these cards. They usually have nice in input. <laughs> I almost dumped a whole bunch of them. All right, let's see what we get. All right, Wisdom of Avalon. What do you want to tell us? Truth. Ha <laughs> ha. Truth. See, that goes right back to what what was just what I was just talking about. I'm just going to take it that way. I'm not even going to read this deck is that the truth will always feel lighter in you, within you. You'll know it. You can sense what is really true for you. So like this whole year has been a lot about opening up and actually coming more in line with what your truth is by having to really go within, like that 2020 vision, but internally looking at, you know, well, what do I truly want in this life? I mean, this is like the craziest year ever. Time to maybe look at things and see, am I really on my path? You know, is that job that I had, which maybe you don't have anymore, was it really serving me? Like besides a paycheck, was it, was it lifting my soul and making me feel great? You know, if there is truly a reason for all things, then maybe what if, and ask the universe, what is it about this situation whether it's losing your job or whatever it might be what is it about this that i'm not really seeing that is really from my higher guidance and for my higher good just ask the question because when you're trying to get in your head to figure it out forget about it <laughs> you start going down the rabbit hole and then picking up all this negative stuff and questions and confusion when really you just want to like clear the slate of all the thoughts and just tune in Maybe ask a question about whatever a particular thing is and see what you what it feels. Does it feel light? If it feels light, it's truth. Also, <laughs> yeah, nothing's okay. I'm getting reminded. I'm being reminded. There's so much that's going on this year, this turbulence that we've been feeling, you know, as the light's coming in and all these old systems are breaking up. There's a lot of truth that we will be seeing, and maybe this is the month for it. Um, that, w that, that is going to blow our minds, that is really going to put perspective on what is right and wrong and where do we want to go and how do we want to do that, right? Because we are all connected. And when more of us start awakening to this and start looking at the information that comes through, um, rather than maybe feeling um, you know, angry at having been lied to all this time or, or these certain things being hidden and covered up it's like maybe we look at it more as a blessing as these you know it is a blessing right as these truths will be coming out and i think it's going to be mind-blowing stuff it already is um but it just goes to show us how it has to unravel like all these all these things that don't serve us are coming up to be seen so we can be done with it so we move out of the third dynamic where all of that struggle and all of that deception and all of that mm, lower energy existed like we wrote you know we did it taught us a lot we we learned how to always kind of return back to our truth right to feel what's right for us in our heart and to follow that and when we do we're elated right so we're gonna have more of that coming up in, in, 20, in 2021 that's what we're headed towards but we might have to go through some rocky stuff of coming to the realizations and understandings that um, may not feel that great at first. But if we can take that truth card and be like, okay, the truth will set you free, right? All right, so you just ask the universe, okay, what is this, where is this leading us? You know, like, um, what more can you show me about how this is really truly for our highest good? Oh my God, accept what is dying. Accept what is dying. <laughs> Yeah, it's exactly what I was just talking about. I didn't even look at the card until now. Except what is dying 
because the old ways of being is dying. The third dimension, we're moving away from it. You can look at it like it's dying away as we birth into this newness of uh, the fifth dynamic where we're really tuned into our, our intuition, you know, telepathy. Like, tell me, how many things do you know without knowing or you're aware of before it actually shows up these days? There's a lot of that going on. And I love every time it happens, I'm, I'm like celebrating it. <laughs> it's like, yeah, it's true. Telepathy is coming more and more because my intuition, my higher, my, my ability to just know things is been expanding more and more and more and that's really exciting so start to notice that for yourself because it is happening all right accept what's dying the old way of being we learned what we needed to learn from it now we move into something brand new so you know what let's do this i guess i'm doing all of these let's take a color card all right a color card to maybe work with uh over this month Maybe I'll come in. Maybe I'll do some more of these. Uh, instead of doing one a month, maybe I'll do more of these as we end off this year. Possibly even weekly. So let's see what color card we have to take us through <clears throat> this week. Silver. Be persistent. Okay, I haven't seen this one yet. <clears throat> For some reason, my throat's being activated here. So... Okay, so for anybody out there who, who really feels it's difficult to step into your own truth, to know what it is, and to be able to share it, communicate it out to the world, any of anything that exists like that within your whole system, let's now just pull it, send it to the light, uncreate and destroy it all. Just letting it go. Any of the vows, oaths, decisions that have created it, any of those vows, oaths, and decisions that for prevent and forbid you from letting it go, we're just going to blow it all out right now, right here. Yeah, that feels better. <laughs> okay, number 27. Oh, I opened up to 28. Okay, 27, silver. Okay, so. Silver is the color of peace and persistence. Calming nervous tension, bringing serenity and expanded awareness. Silver also strengthens the healing process through purification, releasing diseases and density from the body, and flushing toxicity from the blood and tissues. This includes healing the kidneys and balancing hormonal function, as well as bringing clarity. The throat thing is still going on. Silver is also great for protecting and grounding. Strengthen your intention and resolve with silver rays of light. So it goes on to say persistence. Stand up straight, focus on what you would like to achieve or experience. Imagine silver rays of light intertwining themselves around you, strengthening your intention and resolve. Allow them to hold you up taller and stronger. Now imagine a silver ray of light that creates a bridge between your mind and your goal. All right, so here we go, connecting to that higher knowing again says, for the next three days, focus on strengthening the silver bridge until you feel that you are confident enough to walk over it. Receive what you want and bring it back to the present. The more you feel like you already have it, the faster you will manifest it. Remember, when you continually focus positive attention on a goal, it's impossible not to manifest it. And say to yourself, I am confident clear and persistent wonderful things now flow into my life at the perfect time wow and actually reading that the rest of that card it seems like it's cleared up what was going on in my throat because it's talking about using this silver ray to um allow yourself to have that connection right to your higher knowing your higher mind um to sense your truth right? I think it all ties together. So I would say, and maybe it's different for you. You take it however you take it. But I would say that it really is, as we're ending off this year, about really, if you don't already have it or know it, connecting to the truth that you are far more than the energy, than, than this body, <laughs> 
or even the energy that's contained within this body because it expands outward. And so when you tap into that energy and feel the bigness of you and how you're connected to the everything, and I could feel it right now as I'm saying this, right? That, that, no, it's almost like you can just, you can just reach for the different bits of information that maybe you are lacking in your conscious mind, right? So there's that subconscious part coming through, like this information that is actually there, but one, but reaching for and tapping into those knowings that take you further on your path, right? That really assist you in strengthening this bond and this connection you have with your higher mind and actually utilizing your physical body to help you to feel what is your truth because right? a, a truth will always make you lighter you'll feel it and you feel things in your body notice how much you feel within your body even like walking into uh, a restaurant or something you could feel energy in your body uh, walking down a street or a certain street or in the woods taking which path to walk on you can kind of feel which one would take you further so yeah so let's just clear anything that prevents you from knowing that truth of yours and really following following through with it expressing it in whatever way of expression that comes through for you to actually be it and live it experience it and um and I'll, I'll just close with this. The more you do that, the more you open up the possibilities for other people to do the same. As we heal ourselves, we heal the planet. It, it's all, we're all connected. So if we were to get more and more people to um, have that understanding and that awareness, it makes it easier for more and more people to have that understanding and that awareness. <laughs> and then it becomes more of just a normal way of being and living for us so don't ever think that you're just one person on your journey your awakening path as you awaken you're assisting so many others to awaken and those who started awakening before you have assisted you to come to this place yeah so have a wonderful month i may just do some more uh readings during this month or the next two months anyway as we close out the year. Um, I wish you lots of love and uh, peace and connection. Yeah, start feeling that connection of yours. Ask for signs. You'll get them. They're everywhere. <laughs> I'll see you next time. Bye.